NewBlueFX's title designer is able to register objects as variables, which will allow you to make quick changes to certain attributes of your titles without the hassle of editing the design aspects of the title. These variables usually consist of elements that need to be repeatedly changed on the fly, such as text, colors, images, and videos. Every title template that comes included with Titler Pro and Titler Live utilizes variables, so today we'll be designing a simple title from scratch to see the process from the ground up. When using Titler Pro, your variables can be seen and modified from the Scene tab, making it easy to change all of your video's titles from a single interface. When using Titler Live, your variable fields can be modified from the primary interface or derive their data from outside sources such as social media feeds. Please note that special playback variables, such as the data graphing option, will be covered in the tutorial on special playback behaviors. In order to illustrate the most common variable types, we'll make a simple lower third design consisting of three rectangles and two text fields. Add your elements using the buttons at the top of the workspace, and adjust their attributes using the handlebars in the workspace and their style layers in the Attributes tab. As of now, the only variables present are our title's text fields, which can be seen in the Scene tab. But by clicking Variable under each object's face in the Style tab, we'll have the ability to change each of our elements from the Scene tab, and in the case of Titler Live, from the primary interface as well. Not only does this apply to the faces of objects, but you can turn the layers of any text field into a variable. It's worth noting that there are two ways to create a text variable by selecting variable text from the drop-down above the workspace, or creating static text, navigating to the global tab, and selecting text variable. You will also have the option of renaming your text variable for easy identification. Once your design is ready and your variables are in place, save your design, create however many instances will be needed for your broadcast or video, and when necessary, insert the appropriate data or input into each instance. Also present in the variable section of the title designer is the style break option. A style break can be applied only when multiple styles are present in the same text field. Select a string of text and change an aspect of its formatting, such as its color. Now when we check the style breaks box, our future text changes will follow the same formatting. The text variable translation option allows you to replace incoming text with predetermined substitute text. For example, we can select 1 as our value in and first as our value out. Now when we enter 1 into the text field, it will be replaced with the word first. This feature is most commonly used in scoreboards, especially in the period field. Keep in mind the title's text must match the in value exactly or else the translation will not take place. The last option in the Variable section is the Visible Variable checkbox. This will create a checkbox that will simply decide whether the variable is visible or not. Like Text Variable Translation, this feature can be applied to any template, but is especially useful in scoreboards where elements such as touchdown and flag indicators regularly need to be toggled on and off. This concludes the tutorial on adding variables in designs. With the variable options available in NewBlueFX's Title Designer, you have limitless options for creating professional adaptive template designs in line with your existing software. To learn more about variables or the other one-of-a-kind features available to you in the Title Designer, visit the help section at newbluefx.com today.